everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is pretty exciting for me because it is a DIY advent calendar. This is my first year doing advent with my boyfriend or just doing advent in general because I've never had an advent calendar. So I'm super, super excited for this. I like it mainly because it's very customizable and you can really put your own taste on it, which is pretty much what I did here now. Prices may vary in this situation because you don't really have to get really good things if you want. You can do a candy advent calendar, you can do a theme to it, or you can do what I did, which is just like sporadic gifts, but that you're gonna be receiving throughout December. Now, my advent calendar is a 12-day advent calendar. What I'm going to be doing for him is the odd numbers, and he's gonna be doing the evens. Obviously, I don't know what's in my advent, so these are advent ideas for males, and we're just gonna get on into it because if not, I'm gonna keep on blabbing. <laughs> As you can see here behind me, I do have all the boxes that I did for Advent. I am still waiting on two gifts, which I'll probably insert pictures of, just so that you guys can see what the gifts are because they haven't gotten to me in the mail yet, and I do wanna get this up before December because Advent starts December 1st. So I'm just gonna start off by showing you guys a few of the ideas that I had, what I put in the Advent calendars. I am the slightest bit psycho because I write down all of my Christmas gifts, my stocking stuffers, and Advent. The first gift that I am giving on the first of the month is a pair of socks, and I have put it in this box that I got at Michael's. I got these socks at Target. One pair is just a plain pair, and the other pair has like these little reindeers on them, and it's super cute. Now, something else that I did to kind of put my own little twist on it was I went to Michael's, and I bought these little numbers. And me and my friends just stood coloring the numbers together. These are them. So since this box is gonna be open on the first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on the bottom where there's already a sticker so that we can reuse these box in the future. I feel like you can never really go wrong with a pair of socks. Men love socks, women love socks, so socks. The next idea I have is supposed to go into this little box. Now, unfortunately, I haven't received it yet in the mail. It's an Avenged Sevenfold patch. My boyfriend loves Avenged Sevenfold, so hey, why not get him a patch? Patches are cool, people love patches, and I saw it in his Amazon cart, so here's a little tip. If you don't know what to get someone for Christmas or anything, just go on their Amazon history and boom. You have a bunch of ideas there. That's where main, most of my ideas are coming from, not gonna lie. Now this next gift I think is super hilarious. Again, you can never go wrong with it. It is a pair of undies, but not just any undies, Christmas themed undies, obviously. So I based them around my favorite Christmas movie, which you are now gonna see, and I put it in this box, which is actually a little book. So that is flipping awesome. So the pair of undies that I got are these little Grinch underwear from Target. And just say ho, ho, ho all over them. And my boyfriend's a Grinch, so it's a Grinch. But the funny part about this gift is that there's another gift inside. And it is a pair of undies for me. And it is Gryffindor undies because hello. That's gonna be just funny because he's gonna open it and be like, wow, really? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, Merry Christmas. I know I'm lame, that's not really funny, but to me it's hilarious. Day seven is pretty exciting for me because he's been speaking about getting a straight razor for the longest time and he just hasn't had one. So I went browsing around and I found this super cute one and it's in this huge box. So since I have so much space in this box, I have the straight razor and I have some blades. So I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of like confetti I got these at Walmart for 97 cents and it's just paper shred. I'm just gonna fill up the box with this. I'm gonna stuff the straight razor into the bottom so he has to look for it and the top is just gonna have the random razors. So it's kinda gonna be like, what is this? And then when he gets to the bottom, oh cool, straight razor. Another thing that I tried to do when I planned for Advent and the order that I'm gonna be giving the gifts out um, I tried to do one day semi-cheap, the other day a little bit nicer, like a few days of cheap and then a more expensive gift in, in between. So it's kind of exciting because you really don't know what's coming next. Here we have day seven. Day nine is just two packs of gum in this little box. 
And again, I'm gonna fill it up with confetti because we have so much extra space in here. Can we really just appreciate these boxes? Because wow, they're so stinking cute. I saw them, I was like, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Day 11, I picked up a pair of slippers because slippers are always nice. And they are these little Christmas slippers from Target. They were $10 and they feel pretty cozy. Will keep your feet warm. I hope that they fit though, I'm not too sure. Day 13 has to be my favorite gift. It is in this beautiful trunk from Michaels. I actually don't have it, but it is a Demolition Ranch Christmas sweater. And I think they just came out with it only this Christmas so far. And he really likes that YouTuber, and that's the only one I really actually watch him watch consistently. So he was like, hey, if you wanna get me a Christmas sweater, you can get me this one. And he's not into Christmas sweaters, so I was like, yes, definitely. But those don't ship out until December 5th. So I'm hoping I will get it by the 13th to put it in here. If not, I might have to change the day. For day 15, we have another little simple one. It is just little Warheads liquid candy that he likes. Oh, this box, look at it. This is another one that will be filled with confetti. I also found these super adorable and cheaper boxes at Walmart. This one was $2. And inside for day 17, are we on day 17? Yes, we are on day 17. It is just these little air fresheners for the car. Day 19 has to be another one of my favorites as well because I feel like it's gonna be something that's very close to his heart. And that is, it's a little police dog um, figurine thing that I found and I thought it'd be super cool. First off, German Shepherds are the most amazing breed and second of all, it is something that he wants to pursue in his future, doing canine. So I just thought this is like, hey, one day you'll be there and this is just a nice little gift. We are approaching our last few gifts. Day 21 is another quick, easy, and super inexpensive one. And it's awesome because Publix actually gave me like this little card holder. And it is just lotto tickets. And I went for these little holiday themed lotto tickets. I did two $2 ones and one $1 one, so $6. And it's fun, exciting. And even if you don't win, it's just a pretty awesome gift. And the last gift for Advent, again, it was in his Amazon history. <laughs> He's not a coffee drinker, but I still think mugs are pretty cool. And it is this Avenged Sevenfold mug. Well, when it was in his Amazon, it was as sold out, the one that he was looking for. So I Googled it and I found it. I feel like that's a pretty good way to end Advent on a pretty good note. I really wanted to do this because it's almost like it's an extension of Christmas. Like, I feel like you should always be in the Christmas mood in December and this just heightens it so much because you have something to look forward to every day. And like I said, it's just very personal, I feel. And that is it for my DIY Advent calendar. Let me know if it maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration or if you think it's a great idea. And also let me know if you guys would like to see me opening my advent on a day-to-day -day basis because I think that that would be really cool to see how he does because he didn't even know what advent was. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Let me know if you wanna see that. I do have a lot of ideas going on in this little head of mine and we are definitely gonna have a lot of videos in December. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays!